Hi, uh, this is a presentation video for the final project of EEL6562. My name is Liu Xiuwo, and uh, the title of the project is Ball Detection in a Soccer Game Video. And uh, here we can see the contents of the whole project. It consists of uh, five steps. The first step is uh, scope achievement. Uh, the second uh, uh, part is to introduce some background information about the uh, ball detecting. The third one is the the design and implementation. The fourth one is the discussion of the results, and the fifth one is to give the conclusion. And uh, here we uh, start from the scope and achievement. There are two uh, main goals of the project. Uh, it's, uh, this project is a study of uh, object tracking. Uh, second one is to simulate a uh, covariance tracking method. Uh, here uh, we introduce some information about the uh, ball tracking. With the uh, development of interactive broadcasting and video reviewing, automatic sports video indexing would allow sports fans to assess a game in a way that they like rather than watch a game in a sequential manner. So in this way, uh, ball tracking is very important. Uh, to finding the correspondence of the previously detected objects in the current frame tracking is an essential component of several vision applications. So uh, this is the main uh, idea of the ball tracking. And, uh, there are many uh, ways to realize the tracking. So uh, uh, one way is that tracking can be considered as estimation of the state given all the measurements up to that movement or equivalently uh, constructing the probability density function of uh, object location. The second way is it also can be uh, considered as a classification problem and the classifier can be trained to distinguish the object from the background. Uh, here uh, in this project uh, we mainly uh, introduce the covariance tracking. It consists of three parts. Uh, the first step is to construct a feature image, which uh, construct a feature vector using two types of mappings. And uh, the second one is to uh, compute the covariance matrix. Uh, it's, uh, using this uh, method, we can uh, represent the variance of each feature, and the non-diagonal entries represent their respective correlations. Uh, for the third part, uh, we obtain the most uh, similar region to the given object. We need to compute the distance between the covariance matrix corresponding to the target object window and the candidate ranges. In this way, we can assign the estimated location for the next frame. So this is uh, the basic idea for uh, covariance tracking. And uh, in the next uh, section, I will simulate uh, the, this algorithm, and the main simulator is the MATLAB. So uh, the main simulation process uh, is shown as below, uh, several steps. First one is to read the ABI video file, gather information of the video, such as frames per second, and video wise and uh, height. The second step is to construct the, the figure of uh, each frame. The third one is initialize the target region, get the location of the ball of the first frame. And then we construct the feature vectors of each pixel in the uh, target region for the first frame. Uh, then we establish the covariance matrix with the feature vectors generated in uh, the last step. And uh, we determine the candidate regions for the following frame and then constructing the covariance matrix of these regions. Uh, then we find the minimum covariance dis uh, distance the region from this candidate region. Uh, for the eighth step, we assign this region as the estimated region. Uh, in this way, we construct the window, shows the estimated region as the 
as above. So uh, this is the main idea: how to track the soccer in the in a soccer game video. So let's see the result. Uh, with the covariance metrics tracking method, I read about uh, nine sequence of uh, different soccer game videos for the whole uh, uh, all about 1,000 frames to test the performance, and uh, I will calculate some uh, undetected rates. Uh, this uh, for the different condition and situations. And uh, this will show in the discussion. Uh, let's see how to simulate this. This is original video, and we test about 70 frames of uh, this video, so it may uh, take a while. can see uh, this is the first frame of the video and uh, we construct a feature for the first frame and uh, located the uh, original region of the ball. Uh, then in the next frame we uh, construct a window to uh, show the estimated location of the ball. Uh, about a few frames later, the player is uh, running with the ball, so we can see the tracking is right here. And uh, later, the player is shooting the ball, so uh, the tracking frame is still uh, shows the location of the ball. You can see. Uh, in, during this frame, the ball is uh, running very fast from the player to the to the nets. See, the ball is uh, running in the air. And uh, a few more frames later, the ball is still running into the goal. And uh, actually. Uh, there are some undetected frames after the ball has got into the nest. See, uh, actually, the ball is right about here in the nest, but the tracking windows has stopped here. There's maybe uh, some reason for the line and the nest to uh, affect the, detect the detection. So, the last frames. The window has lost the ball, and uh, the ball is disappears in the net. And uh, we can also uh, run another test for another video. Let's change the basic, the original version.
and uh, basically there is no uh, undetected frames in this video. Okay, so uh, this is our uh, true uh, test. And uh, we can see it clearly here. And I construct a, a table to uh, calculate the undetected rate for each video. And uh, because these videos are in different conditions and uh, with different camera situations so they have different undetected rate and there are many uh, reasons to cause the undetected frames so uh, for the last part uh, I will give the conclusion The advantages of the, this covariance tracking is that it does not make any assumptions on the noise and the motion model. Uh, another advantage is that it can track objects even if their motion is erratic and fast. So it's pretty good. And uh, for future work, I suggest that maybe I can uh, decrease the undetected rate to make the to uh, make it to adapt to the complexity of the different situations and tracking some other interesting things with uh, different shapes, uh, you know, just not the uh, symmetric balls like uh, soccer. I can track maybe people, dogs, so, uh, like this, and the uh, noise uh, things. Uh, there is uh, no assumptions on the noise, so maybe I can test it, uh, the videos in a uh, noisy condition and in some bad weather days to see the performance. Okay, that's all. Uh, that's all for the final project. Thank you for the uh, direction of Professor uh, Da Wu. And thank you for your watching. See you.